Good day everyone. In this video, I will share a big mistake I faced in the past. When I was a beginner, I couldn't get the perfect shine. Now I'll explain what the problem is. Took over the job, which the previous master refused without correcting the mistake. It was possible to fix it, but the problem rested on the budget. More precisely, it would have cost the customer 10 to 15 times more. The problem is the unevenness of the walls. You need to apply plaster to a level of 20 to 40 millimeters. The installed suspended ceiling did not allow this. The only option left was to level it with several layers of putty and visually remove the clearly visible waves of the wall. Apply Venetian plaster in three layers, trying to somehow reduce the effects of sanding. Please note, if the wall is flat, then two or one layer is enough. After applying the base layer, we sand note if the wall can be leveled, then sanding should be done with large grinding tools. Unfortunately, this was not possible as the larger diameter of the sander removed most of the applied layer. The remaining option is to use a smaller diameter. Grinding in three stages, 1.300 to 6003, 1000 grinding disc. Then connect the layers with strong pressure on the spatula. Smoothing. The next stage is applying brown Venetian decorative plaster with a spatula.
Then we make this batch of black and white decorative Venetian plaster on a spatula and apply the design. Don't be afraid to make mistakes in the process. Everything can be fixed. After each coat, remember to align the layers and remove any excess ridges with a spatula. Create cracks with a brush for a more natural look. Cracks should be wiped with a dry cloth for a more natural effect.
The next stage is to remove everything unnecessary. Like a sculptor with a wet rag, note that the rag needs to be washed off and prepare the water. If you remove the excess, then it's not a big deal. You can add it with a brush and at the same time repeat the whole process with a dry cloth and a damp one. The next step is to apply a thin layer of base coat. Now we grind with a finer grain using a sanding disc. So as not to spoil the sketch.1.6000 to 1000.
Apply a thin layer of protective decorative wax and immediately remove excess with a spatula. Without waiting for it to dry, rub with a sponge or cloth. Sand immediately with a disc made of natural fur sheep skin. Dark spots may appear during the process. Remaining wax can be removed with a small spatula. The cause of stains is poor quality decorative wax or to high sanding speed. The next stage is the application of gold gold. It can be in plates or liquid, can be purchased at hobby or decorative supply stores. The plates are more shiny, but this requires its own glue. For the walls I used a water-based, not alcohol-based base. The plates used are extremely durable and do not require a protective layer of varnish. First we add yellow pigment to the glue so that you can see how we apply it. After five minutes, apply the plates. Perhaps the time difference depends on the glue. To know for sure, check with your finger to make sure the application area is semi-dry and sticks to your finger.
I applied the plates to the glue without gloves, as I wanted a rougher surface, closer to natural. If you want a smoother application, use a larger makeup brush. During the application process, if you need to add or you think they are thin, you can add glue on top of the plate after drying. What do you think of my marble design? Well design. If you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. 98% watch my videos without subscribing. Your support is necessary to promote the channel. All the best and good luck.